You have just entered the Brick Zone. My name is Will, and this is the Halo Mega Block set, UNSC Attack Goshog. The set includes 229 pieces and was released in summer 2015. First things first, here's a quick 360 look at the Goshog itself, and my god, it looks amazing. I'm calling it now, these are going to sell like hotcakes. My favorite thing about this Warthog is definitely the color scheme. And the main reason for that is that it's based off of the Rocket Hog scene in Halo 1 PC, and I personally enjoyed playing that game quite a bit. So, before I go into the up close details on this Warthog, let's take a closer look at the figures included. The two figures included in this set are the Halo 5 Guardians versions of the Arbiter and Master Chief both of which come in the new style of figures with the added articulation as well as the interchangeable armor. So, let's take a look at Arbiter first. For starters, I personally am not a fan of the new design of his armor. I definitely prefer uh, the version seen in Halo 2 and Halo 3. Uh, my main concern or my main dislike of it is uh, his left arm and just how exposed they left it both here and in-game, it just it bothers me so much just how, uh, how how plain it looks. And I think there's that similar issue towards the bottom by his crotch. Like, there's nothing there either. Like, you know how the Spartans and the Elites have, like, that centerpiece there? There's no armor there. It's just... Uh, it's so plain and exposed to me. I really don't like it. Uh, other than that, I like the rest of him. I like the color. It comes in this metallic looking color with a nice finish. Uh, he comes armed with a Halo 4, Halo 5 style energy sword there in dark blue. Dark transparent blue. Uh, I think that the helmet compared to the in-game footage we've seen both in the Master Chief collection as well as uh, gameplay and trailers, I, uh, I don't think it's exactly accurate. I think it looks it looks more like a, a skull head, like some sort of skull helmet or something compared to what it looks like in-game. I think there are a lot of details that they missed out on there. I mean, they got the the main things like the, the large bump here on the top of his helmet. Uh, but other than that, I think the front of the, like, the look of it from the front doesn't look like what I, we've seen so far, unless this is a different... A set of armor that he wears in game. At the time I'm recording this, the game has yet to be released, so uh, you never know. But I actually I kind of like this a little more, or just if not more, in a different way than what we've seen. It just I guess those eyes, those empty eyes, just look very intimidating <laughs> to me. So if we take a look at the side here, uh, you can see the spine. His spine that uh, is also part of the helmet that's like one piece that you take off separately. So that looks cool. Uh, not a huge fan of it in game, but yeah, I don't know. It's I guess you know change is hard, but a lot of the times, uh, just like how Master Chief's armor changed between Halo 3 and Halo 4, it sort of grows on you. So who knows? Maybe this will grow on me as well. You can see some detailed stripe there on his shoulder armor which I feel like they should have included on the other arm. It wouldn't have been a big deal, but that's what he looks like from the back. So, uh, next, let's take a look at Master Chief. Master Chief looks pretty much like the other versions we've gotten so far. Uh, I don't really have any of those versions actually, come to think of it, at least not in the new Articul in the new style of figures. I don't have any official Master Chief. I have the one from the cryo chamber, but that's about it. So, he comes armed with his signature assault rifle. This one comes in black. I think that his his colors overall, like the, the look of it, looks very dark. It's a dark shade of green. It kind of looks like sage, actually. And just, yeah, just looks a lot darker than what we're usually, what we're normally used to seeing with Master Chief. If you take a look at his visor there, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, if I'm not zoomed in well enough, but it is cracked. So that is how he appears in the Halo 5 Guardians E3 2000, uh, 2013 trailer. So that's two years ago now, when he was wandering the desert in that cloak. So I think that was a nice touch. Uh, when these 
when there were images of this set first release, I, I hadn't realized it that this was the version of Master Chief we'd be getting. So I was glad to get that. Too bad they didn't include that cloak, though. That would have been pretty funny. Other than that, you know, his shoulder armor, his legs, uh, the torso armor, all exactly the same from what we've seen. And you don't, you guys can't really see much here. There's a better look. Both of them from the back. Uh, overall, uh, my personal opinions aside, I think these are some. Uh, these two figures are pretty well made and well designed. Switching back to the Gosshog, here is a closer look at it from the front. You can see they use the same windshield piece they've used for most of the previous Warthogs. You can see the UNSE logo there, extending from the hood, and on the hood you can see that gold detailing. It's not the yellow that we've seen in the Halo 1 PC version of the Rocket Hog, but I think that the metallic gold there looks pretty good as well. And those are, th that's printed, each of those pieces. The UNSC logo as well as the stripe, printed. No stickers, which I still love. And other than that, you know, you have the cable in the front with the tow hooks, as well as the bars on the side. And there, uh, there are no details for the headlights there or there, like in some versions, which is a little disappointing, but not a big deal to me. Here's a closer look at the midsection of the Goss Hug. There's a driver's seat as well as a passenger seat, both of which come in kind of a leather looking brown color. And there is a divider there in the center. And up above you have the one stud wide plate piece. And on that other end you can see there's a steering wheel and a slope piece. Uh, no detailing though, like there's no sticker or printed piece for some sort of driving panel or something for controls or radar, or whatever of details that are usually in the Warthog. Uh, but there is that steering wheel. Other than that, that's about it. The side there, you can see there's a grilled, uh, or on the sides, on either side, there's a grilled plate piece to add texture. And much of the side is brick built. You can see the outlines of the pieces. And here's Master Chief in the driver's seat, and he fits in pretty well. Moving on to the back, you can see that slope piece has more of that grilled texture. And along the back of the Warthog, you have more of those bars. And I think the most important thing here is the Goss cannon itself, but we'll take a closer look at that in a bit. And there, at the very back of the Warthog, you can see two golden kerosene tanks right there and again much like the front with the lack of headlights there are none printed or sticker at the back here as well here is a slightly closer look at the Goss turret mounted on the back of the Warthog it is mainly built out of two large assemblies the first one being this large black this large black piece which is from here to here that is all one piece the second largest piece is this piece right here other than that there are a couple small pieces attached to those two and some small assemblies and those assemblies include uh, the turret piece here which is made out of some studs and a couple other pieces as well as this piece right here and um, you know it's just a bar piece with some clips there which attach to the stand so, you can rotate this Goss turret 360 degrees freely with ease. On the other side you have the ammo case, which looks kind of odd without the, the chain of ammo which usually connects to the machine gun turret. But since this is a Goss one, nothing's really connected, so it looks kind of strange with those holes just exposed there. And at the front you can see like those shield pieces there for guards. But I, I, I don't know, I don't really like this as much as the previous turrets we've seen. Uh, I don't have many of the latest Halo Megablocks Warthogs, like with the bars, like the Halo 4 era style of Warthogs. Uh, I have a lot of the older ones, but with this Warthog in particular, uh, my main problem with this turret is just that it's kind of flimsy, like there isn't a lot of friction with these clips connecting it, so 
Uh, my main problem that would happen when I was building this, or just you know, putting figures in, was that it just falls to the side like this. So the piece where it rotates, not rotating the whole thing around, but right there where you put that pin, it spins too freely. It's it's very loose. I'm not sure if that's a quality control issue, if it's just my Warthog or my set, or if that's with everyone's. But yeah, it just falls way too easily like that. And it shouldn't do that. It should be able to stand like this. And if I want to rotate it like that, you know, for whatever reason, as odd as it looks, it shouldn't do that. It should be able to stay in place. So, uh, minus points for that. <laughs> I, I just, that bothers me. It's just really annoying sometimes. Uh, to just be able to drive this, even if you don't have anyone manning the turret at the moment, just driving it around, you know, it'll just, it'll definitely just fall back like this very easily. So I really, I don't like that. Thankfully, when you have a figure manning the turret, uh, that problem is not as big a deal, just because they're holding it in place, so, yeah, that helps. So here we have Arbiter manning the turret, and I think he looks pretty good. He's... He's just at the right level of like the viewing screen that is uh, hypothetically there. There's no actual print or anything, but uh, I think that it's, it's pretty leveled, pretty good. And if we rotate it, just look at him from the back, looking into it. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. And you could also adjust this upwards like this. And you can also with those clips at the bottom of the base, you can adjust those up if he's aiming up at the sky or if he's aiming lower. So that pretty much does it for the Goss Cannon or the Goss Turret. The suspension on this Warthog works pretty well. Uh, you can see if I push it up and down, see it actually works there. Uh, there's not a lot of friction in those lever pieces so, they're not as loose as previous Warthogs, like, they won't fall down like this, you have to manually just move them. But, yeah, that's just a quick look at the suspension, and that's a look at the underside and the top view, if you're interested. I think this is a very strong set. I think a lot of sets, people either get it for mainly the figures, or sometimes the build, one or the other. I think in this case, you'll have a lot of people on either end, wanting it for both the vehicle as well as the figures, or both in my case. I personally love the color scheme of this Warthog, just because it is a nod to that Rocket Hog from Halo 1 PC, and I hope with the newly announced Warzone, with the weapon skins that will be available, I hope there'll be skins for vehicles, so maybe this will appear in-game as like a, an alternate skin for the Warthog. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I'd like to mention is that, you know, I really appreciate Megablocks releasing this set at all, because, of course, there was that first uh, Halo CE uh, Rocket Hog version, which was released at Halo Fest in limited quantities, so on the aftermarket, the price of that set was ridiculously high, which made it hard to get, and I myself don't have, I don't own a, a copy of that set. So, to, for them to release a very similar set of, uh, like that to the public for everyone to be able to get, is, it's just great, you know, it's just, it's nice that everyone can have this set, and it's not just exclusive, so uh, I really like that aspect of this. Uh, for the things, as for the things that I don't like about the set, uh, per my personal taste, I don't like the, the bars, like the Halo 4 style bars on the side of the Warthog. Uh, but the bigger things that I don't like, or the bigger parts of the set that I don't like, are the Goss turret, which I think is flimsy and just, I don't know, I would have preferred just the normal rocket turret, just because it would have it used less pieces and probably would have been less flimsy, I, I would assume, or hope. Um, and it would be closer to the Halo 1 PC Rocket Hog, too, and the one from Halo Fest. Um, but moving on from that turret, uh, I also am not a fan of the Arbiter figure, Again, I think it's more personal taste than anything. I mean, the figure itself is fine, but I just don't think it's as accurate to the to what we've seen in game or what we've seen in game so far of the Arbiter in Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, I just don't think it's as as accurate to that. 
and just ugh, that exposed arm and crotch piece just will always bother me. <laughs> Even in the game, I'll just think of this figure. It just it looks so plain and so bad. It just it needs more detail. At least some sort, some light armor. Nothing huge. Like I'm 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 okay with asymmetric things, but that just seems lazy to me to just leave it completely blank. Uh, Master Chief, on the other hand, is a very good figure, and I I appreciate the crack they left on his visor for the Halo 5 Guardians version, which, uh, at the time I recorded this, I don't know how he got the crack, so uh, leave your theories in the comments. But that about does it for this set. Uh, overall, despite those nitpicks, I, like I mentioned, I think it's strong, and I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I really like it. And I think it's it's very reasonably priced. You know, a lot often with these, uh, you know, this size set, they sometimes tack on some small terrain piece or something else to, to, you know, to increase the price by a little bit. But this is just, this includes the main things that people want, the, the Warthog and the figures. And that's, that to me is a good decision and a good choice on Megablock's part. So... That about wraps it up. What do you guys think about this set? Are you excited for Halo 5 Guardians? Uh, do you hope that this vehicle, this version of the Warthog, will be available to us either in Warzone or other multiplayer modes, either as a, you know, just an official vehicle for us to play or just a skin we can add to the existing Warthog? Uh, would you like seeing it? Uh, as for this actual set, the Mega Bloks version, uh, do you like this? Uh, do you mind the the bars along the side? Uh, what do you think of the the decision to go with a goss ho the goss turret instead of like a rocket hog? Uh, what do you think of the figures, uh, particularly the arbiter? I'm curious what people think about the new design. I haven't really looked into that. Uh, other than that, like or dislike the video, depending on if you liked it or disliked it, and definitely go and check out some more of my Halo reviews, my Halo Mega Blocks reviews and stop motions on my channel, along with. Uh, my Lego reviews and stop motions if you're interested in those as well. Uh, that's about it. See you guys later.